students, students, I have terrible information that I need to tell you right away. It cannot wait another single sec. Wait, is this recording? Am I muted? No? No? Okay. Am I talking loud enough? Maybe if I get closer? There, that's better. As I was saying, I have some truly devastating information. Our musical has been canceled. You've all worked so hard, and I was so looking forward to our dress rehearsal tonight. But now I'm sorry to report, our production of Brushes with Greatness, the Dental Hygiene Musical, will never see the light of day. The world will never witness your interpretation of this great American classic. I know they say the show must go on, but in this case, it can't. <laughs> Oh, that's, I, I should go. Goodbye for now. Now, how do I hang this up? Siri and video. Okay, great. That was easy. Hello? Oh, hi. Yes, I know our show was canceled. What? No, the drama department can't close permanently. Uh, yes, I know our musical was supposed to raise money for next year, but... No, wait! We can't get rid of the entire drama pro... Goodbye. Oh, the video didn't send yet. Maybe if I press this button that says send... Calling all cast and crew. Did you see that video? Wow, Miss Melissa does not know how to use technology. But more importantly, we can't lose the drama department. We have to do something, no matter what obstacles we face. Life mirrors art, and this is just like our musical, like what Bob Fosse says at the beginning of Brushes with Greatness. We don't give up, we don't give in. We journey on, we rise again, although we fail our greatest fall, we don't give up, this is hell, we'll tell that black and blue divide is to just stay away, with fresh and fall together we can keep that part okay. Well, maybe it's not like that last part, but you know what I mean. Tell me what you think. Hello, fellow thespians. I'm speaking to you all from inside my closet. I retreated as soon as I heard the terrible news. I will, I've decided to move in here and hide away from the rest of the world. After all, if there is no musical theater, then what is the point of even going outside? I will live out the rest of my days amongst my old costumes and tap shoes and my signed poster from last year's production of Susical the Musical. I was a great year of the turtle, wasn't I? Don't cry for me, for my castmates. I'll be fine, I'll be here, tweeting at Lynn Manuel Miranda and humming the score to Pippin. For the rest of eternity. Uh, good luck with the rest of your lives. So long, farewell, off we design goodbye. And soon. Look, we can't just crawl into our closets. We have to bring brushes of greatness to life and save the drama program. I have an idea that might make things easier. You know how we're all sending videos to, to each other right now? What if we did the show online just like this? I mean, if you can order Ben Platt's used tissue online, you can do totally do a show on. Not that anyone would order used tissue online. What kind of person would spend $40 on something like that? Totally ridiculous. I know I wouldn't, yuck. All I'm saying is you can do a lot online. We could film ourselves um, and then 
piece together the scenes to make a full musical. We could. Oh, dear Evan Hansen, what have I done? Stop filming. Yes, that is a genius idea. Not the $40 tissue. That's ridiculous. But a virtual musical is a great idea. We'll perform Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, and stream it online. Check it out, I can do the opening number from my living room. Ever since a mouth appeared that had some teeth, there's been a silent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? We've known them since youth. Our heroes, Bob Flossy and Tommy, too. Come listen to their brush, 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 brushes with greatness. A musical inside your jaw. Brush, 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 brushes with greatness. Just sit back and say, ah. Oh. Amazing, right? Only problem is Miss Melissa. I don't think she's gonna like this idea very much. She's pretty scared of technology. How do we get her to agree? I may have an idea for how we could get Miss Melissa to agree. I wrote a little something. I'm not sure if it's any good, but maybe it could help. I don't usually perform my songs, but we have to save the drama club. So, here goes nothing. School is closed, the theater too. What are the actors supposed to do? We've rehearsed, we've sung along, we know the words to every song. We're prepared, but where do we go? We go online, set the lights, fill the screen. The show must go on, the show must go online, piece by piece, scene by scene. The show must go on, the show must go online, so just drop the webcam. That was beautiful. I must say, I am moved, deeply moved. I'll admit, at first I was hesitant, but after hearing that song, I say we go for it. The show must go online. Please reach out to me with any questions you have about your performance or about the technology. I have a Hotmail account and an AOL account. I am very connected. You all have inspired me and given me hope. Now let the dress rehearsal begin. Okay, Siri, end call. No, wait, I mean Siri, send. That should do it. I wonder how they found out the drama department was in danger, Mrs. Whiskers. Do you know? Me either. Did you know I once performed in Cats? I was tremendous. Meow, 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 Oh, look, Mrs. Whiskers, it didn't send. Siri, you troublemaker, I got this. Okay, set. So, Miss Moses sings the cats. Good to know. Anyway, stress her. So, I was thinking, since we're at home, we could get creative. Like we could do some of the toothbrushing songs in an actual bathroom using an actual toothbrush and toothpaste. Check it out. This would be great for the big plaque battle at the end of the show. And plaque is all like. This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound. And then our heroes come in and save the day, right? No roots will die, defying cavities. Kiss plaque goodbye, defying cavities. The two can't be pulled out. Good, right?
Wow, that was some great tooth brushing, amazing form. Though I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics, but we'll work on that later. Because I've been working on Black Song in the Great Gum Canyon all day, and I think I finally figured out how to perform it at home. I had some interruption before, but we're all good now. Now, to scene three, take six. I like it, Q U I E T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush. Away from a buzzing brush. Oh, fa la la, tra la la, shoo doo 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 I like to say he's a stellar sleeper. He's also pretty great at flicking and smelling things and just being the best. I know this doesn't have anything to do with the musical, but I just wanted to show you how cute he is. I mean, have you ever seen anything cuter than this face? That's it. Bye. So, back to the musical. It's your trusty costume designer here. Now remember, even though our costumes are at school, we can still get creative at home. After all, this is our dress rehearsal. As we discussed last week, our base costumes will be all black, no logos, no designs. Yes, that includes your Olaf t-shirt, Toby. Let it go. Now, I have some suggestions for everyone. Listen up. For Tommy Tooth and my other toothbrushes, I want you all to take some hair brushes and tape them to your hands, like this. See? It's really easy. Now for the other hand. Ooh. Well, once you have one on there, it's a little harder to do the second. Just hold them. Just hold them like so, like your toothbrush with bristles, so you can sing and dance easily. Though, I suppose if you have to pick something up. Never mind. Get creative, people. Don't let me down. Hey guys, thanks for the costume tips. This next song is the emotional center of the entire story. That heart wrenching moment when Tommy Tooth apologizes. I've been pressing my expressions in the mirror all day, and I think I may have achieved an Audrey McDonald level performance. Now I just have to capture it all on film. That's easy enough. Here I go. When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. When you take a deep look, to my eyes, you'll see a soul that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Wow, that was, um, well, your voice sounded great, but the camera work was a bit off. I have an idea that might make things easier. What if Tommy the Tooth was played by an actual toothbrush? That way you could really see their full body while they're performing. Brilliant, right? When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. Brilliant, right? When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. What a performance! Did you take a deep look into my eyes? Whoops! Bad toothbrush! My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Okay, so maybe it's not the best idea. Hello, from your lighting designer. I thought I'd demonstrate
demonstrate some ways to do lighting design at home. For instance, you can turn your lights on, or you can have them off, blackout. Or if you have a dimmer, you can dim them. And um, what else? I guess you could have one on, one off. Or, and you can use a lamp too. And that's about it. Uh, good luck, I guess. Lights up, spotlight on me. As you all know, this next song contains the most important information in the entire musical, which is why I'm demonstrating it for you. It's the big reveal, and the stakes are extremely high. If the audience misses this, the whole show will fall apart. We mustn't let that happen, so we need to be extremely clear. Like so. As we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget, the one who makes the evil forces wince. And his name is Line. What's the line? Oh, right, okay, sorry. Going on. He's caring, he's daring, he's everybody's friend. And his name will live forever, I'll remember to the end. I met him and I've liked him ever since. And his name is... Who was it again? Right, right, right. Okay. And his name is Harold. Well, I guess we'll never know his name, will we? This is your stage manager here, and we are moments away from showtime. Now, I want everyone to stay calm, okay? We're going to be fine, fine, I'm fine. Are you fine? I'm sure you are, because calm is contagious, and I am totally calm. Okay, you're doing great, really good stuff, but I do have a few tiny little notes before we go live, okay? Okay, one, find a quiet spot to record. Two, remember all of your lines, especially the important ones. Three, don't sing with the toothbrush in your mouth, I'm begging you. Four, make sure the camera is pointed at your face when you are singing about your face. Five, for goodness sake, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. It's not about the show, but just don't do it, okay? We're okay. We're about to go live. Remember, this is just for family and friends. So there's no pressure. Just have fun and... Uh-oh. How is this possible? Is this real? This is real. Okay. Okay. Uh, some news. It looks like Kristen Bell has heard about our show somehow and tweeted out the link to our live performance and is hosting a virtual viewing party and over 50,000 people have RSVP'd, but that's fine, right? Okay, it's places, we're about to go live. Ah! Thank you to all of our viewers and welcome to our virtual theater. My students tell me this is being broadcast live over the interwebs. No. As always, I need to remind you to unwrap your candies and turn off your devices now. Hmm. Oh, a message. Ah, my stage manager is telling me some of you are watching this on your devices. So leave them on, I guess. <laughs> That's neat. Anywho, some of you have been with us from the beginning, from our first production of In the Tights, a Shakespearean hip hop opera. <laughs> Those were the days. Hmm. And some of you are experiencing our drama club for the very first time. We thank you for all of your support. This program means so much to us and we would hate the thought of losing it forever. Never mind about that. Now, without further ado, I give you Brushes with Greatness, the Dental Hygiene Musical. Curtain up. Ever since a mouse appeared, I had some teeth. There's an excellent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? Well, no one since you. Our heroes, Bob, Flossie, and Tommy, too. Uh oh, here comes the plaque. I'm now just a name, Linda Gums. Junior Redis is my very best of charms. And between the two of us, we will attack. If you're lacking dental hygiene, watch your back. Come listen to a 
The legendary toothbrush, is that you? Who's asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old Floss pal. I haven't seen you since deep cleaning of 92 when you vanished, Hallie tossed this. She was awful. You were legendary. That was a long time ago. Flossy, I don't clean mouse no more. I'm retired. But we got ourselves in a plaque situation and nobody cleans like you. Plaque's too big for me now, kid. There's no hope. I give up. No, I refuse to accept that. We don't give up, we don't give in, we journey on, we rise again. All that we face, how good is fight, we don't give up, yes we say no. Well tell the cracking gym dividers to just stay away. We'll brush and cross together, we can keep them back today. So what do you say? All right, Flossy, I'm in. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Flack. Obviously, you know me, and I think I just found the perfect place to live. This mouth is amazing. Just look at all the tartar and buildup in this glorious gum canyon. Shh, do, do you guys, do you guys, do you guys hear that? Um, no you don't, because it's the sound of perfect silence and serenity. There's no toothbrush or floss in sight, and I'm totally certain they aren't hiding nearby, eavesdropping. Amazing. I like Q-U-I-E-T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush. Away from the buzzing rush. Oh, tra la la, tra la la. Sure, what he do, what he did. Why it done for me? This is the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy P. Bob Watson, the most terrible master of all. I sure did, kid. Who is he unless not be named? It sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? As we're ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet, I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget, the one who makes the evil forces win. Harold Rents? He's caring, he's daring, he's everybody's friend. And his name will live forever. I remember to the end. I've met him and I've liked him ever since. And his name is Harold Rents. Harold Rents will do you. That's what he does best. Harold will take care of us so great. If Master Royal, he would be the prince. Hey, I'm really 
Tommy Tooth. I know I'd find you here in the canine cavern. Wait, before you scamper off, just hear me out. I'm sorry about the great peanut butter on the roof of the mouth mishap of 87. I know I blamed you, but I was the one to blame. Now we got a serious plaque problem. Will you help me please, partner? <laughs> this is all Nora. Harold, I know we've been down this road before. And you said you'd never work with me again. Yes, I know I've made mistakes. Is it two five cost to makes? But know that you will always be my friend. When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. Harold, I do care. You look into my eyes, this is so that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. Harold, I love you too. Now let's go pulverize some plaque. <sighs> plaque, why couldn't you stay away for once? Harold Rince, Tommy Tooth, Bob Flossie, the dental trifecta. You betcha, and we want you out of this mouth. Forget it. This is my turf now, and I think this tooth is ready for extraction, don't you? No! Not the molar! This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sounds. Leave that tooth alone. Incredible, truly remarkable. That was the greatest defying cavities I've seen since Adele Dazeem made her off, off, off Broadway debut. I want to thank you all for tuning in. It means the world to us and, oh, goodness, so sorry. No phones in the theater. <laughs> I, I should take this. Thank you, thank you all. Hello? Oh, oh, you watched? Oh, they did? They do? Thank you. Thank you for saving the drama club. Of course. We'll be back next spring with Greasy, the car mechanic musical. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Talk to you later. Is this still recording? What is up with this technology? It's almost as if I left it on on purpose. Well, in that case, KMT kids, if you're watching, you were wonderful. Even though we weren't together, you worked as an ensemble and created something truly special. I'm so grateful to be your teacher and I'm so glad that the show went online. Congratulations. Who is
is closed, the theater too. What are the actors supposed to do? How do we go on with the show? We rehearsed, we sung along, we know the words to every song. We're prepared, but where do we go? We go online, set the lights, fill the screen. The show must go on, the show must go online, piece by piece.